Hello there. Nice to see you. I'm out and about in my marvellous Make-A-Mobile. And the great thing about the Make-A-Mobile is that it can go anywhere. Oh! Toki here. Mini, make a message. Hello, I'm Gracie. Hello, Gracie. Can I help you today? Yes, please, Mr Maker. I'll be right with you. Here we are. Hello, Gracie. Lovely to meet you. Now, how can I help you today? Can we make something with this kitchen foil? Yes, we can, Gracie. Watch. <laughs> Look, we can scrunch it into a ball. Imagine if we had a really big kitchen foil ball. has given me a great idea. Let's try something. Scrunch up kitchen foil to make a terrific tea time picture. Let's make it! But first, we need somewhere to make it. Oh, and we'll also need some things from the doodle drawers. I'll be back soon. <laughs> A sheet of paper or card, a paintbrush and a pen. A sheet of wrapping paper, a glue stick and some gloopy PBA glue. A bowl and some water. We also need some tissue paper. I wonder if Scraps can help us. Hello, Scraps. <laughs> Whoa! Bless you, Scraps. <laughs> we need some tissue paper. Can you help? <laughs> that, no, Scraps, that is a tissue, not tissue paper. <laughs> but whilst you're there, come here. Now, blow. <laughs> oh, that's it. Now, can you find us some tissue paper, please? <laughs> that's it. Off you go. Go on. <laughs> oh, well done, Scraps. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no. Here we go again. Oh, bless you. Thank you. I mean, oh. OK, then, Gracie, let's make a terrific tea time picture using scrunched up kitchen foil like this one here. All right, then, Gracie, are you ready? Yes. Brilliant. Are you ready? Fantastic. Let's get making. Now, the first thing we're going to do is stick a strip of wrapping paper onto the bottom of a sheet of paper. Now, Gracie, can you help me, please? Can you put some glue on there? That's it. Well done, Gracie. Thank you very much. Right, now we can stick this down and we can see that this is our tablecloth. Now let's make the rest of our picture. We can see that our cake has got lots of tasty-looking layers and a strawberry on top. So let's take some kitchen foil and we're going to scrunch it into the shape of our cake. Use three pieces of foil to make three layers of cake that are all the same size, like this. You also need to make a plate and why not make a strawberry shape to go on top? Now we need to make a very special mixture in a bowl of half gloopy glue, 
and half water. Gracie, can you give that a stir for me, please, with the paintbrush? Now let's brush this mixture over our kitchen foil shapes. There, our pieces are all covered in the gloopy mixture. Now we can cover them in pieces of torn up tissue paper. You can use whatever colour tissue paper you like. All right then, Gracie, can you tear up this tissue paper into small pieces, please? Oh, good one. Excellent. This brown colour is for the sponge. And we'll need to use different colours for the filling, the plate and the strawberry, like this. Our pieces are now dry and we've got two layers of sponge, a red strawberry, a green plate and a lovely creamy jam filling. And we use red and white tissue paper for this. Now I'm going to pass these over to you, Gracie, because we're going to stick them on to our tablecloth. So can you put some glue on them, please? That's it. Let's stick our plate on. Then stick the rest of our cake layers down. And don't forget the strawberry on top. There. We can now add some details with a black pen to finish off our cake and really make it stand out. There. We're all finished. It's a terrific kitchen foil tea time picture. And you can make all sorts of pictures like this in the same way. How about a cup of tea in a stripy teacup? Or you could try a yummy plate of biscuits made using different shapes of foil. Terrific tea time pictures. Why don't you try one today? Well done, Gracie. Your kitchen foil gave us a great idea for a picture. Do you like it? Yes. Brilliant. We made it. And now your home is where the art is. High five. <laughs> what a yummy looking picture. Great work, Gracie. Bye. <sighs> <laughs> I love being out and about in the Makermobile. The sun is shining, the birds are tweeting, and... Uh... <laughs> oh, what's that noise? <laughs> now, who do you think's in the doodle drawers? <laughs> I am a shape! I am a shape! I am a circle. I am a triangle. I am a square. I am a rectangle. How many triangles can you see? One, two, three, four, five. There are five triangles. Well done, shapes. It's time to get back in the doodle drawers. <laughs> Oh, this is a lovely day for a drive out in the Makermobile, isn't it? Yes! <laughs> Minute mate time! Hey, it's Minute Mate time! I'm on my way! It's 
minute break time, everyone! Yeah! Uh, yeah, yeah. And today we're going to make a super scaly snake! Nice to see you. And we can make a scaly snake in just one minute. And here's what we need. Some netting. Now, this is the type that fruit normally comes in. And we'll also need some googly eyes and some air-drying clay. Now, you can find these things in an art and craft shop. I'll be back very soon. <laughs> I've got them. Here are our googly eyes. So let's put those down first. And then also in here, ah, oh yes, we've got some air drying clay. Now, do you think it's possible to make this scaly snake in just one minute? No way! Well, let's find out. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yes! <laughs> Are you ready, though? Brilliant. Let's make it in a minute. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Start the clock. Right, let's get our air drying clay and we're going to roll it into a long, thin sausage shape. Now, this can get a little bit messy, so it's a good idea to do this on some old paper. Right, there we go. Now we need to get our netting and we're going to put the air drying clay on top and then wrap it up a bit like a present and then press down like this, and then we can very carefully peel it away to show that the marks from the netting have left marks on the air drying clay. And it looks a little bit like the scales on a snake. OK, right now we can start to shape this into the shape of a snake. So let's bend his head there and bend the neck like that. And then we can also give him a very wiggly tail at the back, like that. And last but not least, he needs some googly eyes. So let's stick in one googly eye there, and then another googly eye on this side as well. And we've made a scaly snake! Yay! <laughs> I did it just in time. And now I need to leave my scaly snake to dry, and then I can paint it, like this one. But if you've got more than a minute, you can try all sorts of ideas. How about a snake with a wiggly pattern? Or a snake with lots of stripes? Or even a long spotty snake? A scaly snake made in a minute. Why don't you try it? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Roll the clay into a sausage shape. Wrap the net around the clay to make scaly marks. Bend it into a snake shape. Stick on googly eyes, and your scaly snake is finished. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? Well, it's time for me to go, everyone, but thank you so much for being part of another marvellous Minute Make. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, I love driving the Maker Mobile. Where should we go to next? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, hello. Nice to see you. Look what we're making today. Let's take a look. I am black. I am brown. Makers have no idea what's about to happen. Hello! <laughs> oh, it's great to meet you. Oh, oh, hello, Captain Maker here, and we're going to go on an underwater adventure. Periscope down! 
Let's see what we can see. Oh, I can see some mini makers. I can see Leah, Krishna, Molly, Izzy, and Rio. My crew is ready. Up, Periscope. I think we should make a big submarine. Will you help me? Yes. Come on, then, mini makers. Let's make it. All right, then, mini makers. We're going to make a really big submarine. Now, where would you find a submarine? In the sea. In the sea. Good idea. What else would you see under the sea? Jellyfish. That's right. Sand. Sand. What colour is sand? Yellow. Yellow. Oh, this is yellow. Do you think we can make some sand out of this? Yes. yes. Now, what do you call the windows on a submarine? Portholes. Portholes. That's right. Very clever. How can we make portholes, do you think? A plastic bowl. Oh, that would be good. And we could stick that on the side of our submarine, couldn't we? Yeah. Excellent idea, Rio. All right, then, Mini Makers, I think we're ready, aren't we? Yeah! <laughs> Come on, then. Let's make it. This is the submarine. This is going to be the seaweed and the underwater creatures. And here's an underwater background. Come on, Mini Makers. That's it. Bring it in. Bring it in. Ooh. This big surprise has been great fun so far, so why don't you join in and make your very own Mini Make? Try making a super submarine to play with and have fun with. You will need a plastic bottle, paint and glue, clean yogurt pots and bottle tops, tissue paper, a paintbrush and a pen. First, take the lid off your bottle and keep it for later. Now, glue yoghurt pots onto the top and the end of the bottle, like this. Then, stick on bottle tops for portholes and leave it to dry. Next, use gloopy glue to stick torn tissue paper pieces all over the submarine. Until it's completely covered. Then, you can paint it. And when it's all dry, put the lid back on and add more details with a pen. Now your submarine is finished and ready to play with. Why don't you try and make a super little submarine? But right now, let's see how our mini makers are getting on. Oh, well done. That seaweed looks nice. And this is the seabed. Hello. Hello. Lovely day for a swim. Woo. Oh, it looks great. I love the windows. <laughs> I thought you were a sea monster. <laughs> well done, everyone. We made it! What a super submarine! Perfect for underwater adventures! Mr Maker, time to go! Oh, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. It's time to put the Makermobile back in its box. <laughs> If you like making things, visit bbc.co.uk slash cbeebies.